So guys, this is Royal Peace, not professional, but that's an artist here. I'm coming at you guys with a another character design um, video. So yeah, well this one is a little more different. Um, basically, I'm doing a whole new character and a whole new design, far from the um, the me and the monster one that I did a while back. So as the intro suggested, so yeah, it's basically a just design characters. So it's pretty much cut and dry, basically. Um, what I'm doing right now is sketching out the um, my character I want to use uh, for this video, of course. Um, usually, I usually come up with stuff around the spots. So usually, it takes me a few couple of tries to finding which poses, which design that I exactly want before I start fleshing out the character. So sometimes usually I do the background first if it's you know not as complex so usually I get that out of the way before I start on the uh, main piece. But usually I work up the opposite, usually I do the characters then the background so just so I pretty much know what I want for the, uh, the background to be as. So now I start fleshing my character. Um, usually, what I do in this situation, I put down colors instead of doing value check. The reason why I put down colors first, so that way I can focus more on the design aspect of um, my character. So usually, you know, the whole series is character design. So for this one, it's more of a cartoonish, uh, more um, colorful, more bright and happy. Um, character well not character but more of a design aspect instead of you know the nitty gritty almost kind of need a color just like the previous one um the overall style I'm gonna take um from the character is like a like a crayon a crayon like um design to it so I make it more um, lively more um, playful look to the character also I did give the character a big eyes because I want to be cute so yeah big eyes equal cuteness it's like I always love characters who have big eyes and it's like have these very like innocent like childlike Oh, I just love it. It's so cute and adorable. But it works on some characters, not always. Some look really weird to me. But anyways, I just love big cute eyes. Makes the kid look so adorable. Look at it. Look at his cute head. It looks so cute. So after I done a little bit of outline, so then I started doing um, the body. Well, I'm just going to redo the body because I don't like how the initial um, sketch of it looked. It looked kind of boring, so I want to add a little more excitement to it. So I decided to do like more of an action. After I finish sketching out um, the... the by number two, I um, started doing the um, the scarf and the neck region a little bit more. So I go a little more back and forth on the scarf and working on the goggles a little bit, and then I started the uh, cape as well.
So for the cape, I decided to use an orange and reddish color pot for the cape. Um, so I just want to add a little more variety and color to um, the character. To make it look more visually pleasing, look like, like a candy store with a bunch of candies in it. Like beautiful bright rainbow and colorful candies. Gotta yeah, love that. It makes it look more ex like excited. I always love the candy store, especially when um in, I guess, I don't know, vacation area, tourist place, I think. Well, I call it tourist place. And certain candy um, places that look so bright and colorful, like those kids. I always love that. It's sort of kind of, kind of remind me why I did this character. It sort of kind of remind me of that during my vacation time. So I decided to add goggles on the characters. It's like, why not? Well, well, the reason for it, I want to be more like an adventurous type character. So I know different characters like based off adventure stuff or adventure platform and video games and just overall story and me. And I usually don't have goggles on them but I want to have goggles on this character because it looks super cute and adorable. Plus, as usual, going for more bright and colorful variety, I use green for this one to complement the um the orange, the I guess the warmer tones in um, the color palette, so I decided to go with a green and brown and blue one, so just kind of break it off, won't be like too much on the eye. So oh, the lovely leather cape, I love doing the cape on this, uh, with part of this piece because I was doing a little bit of experimenting um, on how the cape will be folding. So I'm using like different, um, different brush sets to create that um, beautiful artistic illusion of the cape just folding. I just really love that aesthetic to it. And I also really love the paintbrush um, feel of the cape. It feels so artsy. I love it. So then, then I decided to give the cape a more worn and torn um, feel to it. So I put a little bit little splotches of rip holes in it and I just like fell in love with the cape. It's like, oh my word, look at it. It looks so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Uh, for the in, I mean the outside of the cape, I just don't want to do too much um, yellow to it. So I'm kind of going back and forth. Which color should I use for the outside? So that's stuck with blue because it's kind of like a little too much um, warm colors in the piece. So I'm just going to break it off and use my um, like a cool tone to it. So I use um, blue instead for the outside of the cape. So then I started down with towards you know starting my top to the bottom. So I started doing the um, the body um, now. So I'm using the base colors for it and start doing the high well shadow then highlights to it. So 
So after I finished doing the the main parts of the body, so I decided to put eyebrows on the carriage because I love it too serious. So I decided to put a bright pink, hot pink eyebrows on it. So yeah, and fluffy, and it looks super cute, and I love it. A little bit. Okay, oh, it looks very cute. So then after I done the eyebrows, so I started doing the bandage, my second part that is most favorite part of it because I was kind of a little bit experimenting a little bit putting some holes in it, it looks very nice I, love it. I just love it so I started doing the belt as well belt was pretty simple as well just tap it so then I start adding the um katana because I want the character to have a katana so I start adding the purple um what is it called? Hilt, I think? I think maybe Hilt. Maybe. I don't know. Um, so I decided to put that purple yet again, try and balance out the bright, um, warm colors. And yet again, I decided to go for more of a cool tone for the shoes because I was going for black, but it's like, yeah, the plan would look right. So I decided to use a purple, not purple, but a blue base um, for the for the boots, not shoes, but boots rather. So I'm just checking out the piece, making sure everything flows right, doesn't really hurt your eyes, anything conflicted um, visually on aesthetic part of it so I'm just making sure of that I just love how this picture came out. I think this is my um, favorite piece that I've done so far. I just love the color. <laughs> I'm thinking of myself proud of that. It's like this case made me feel like a kid at the candy store. Like a kid you not. Ooh, I love it. And also I do have a art gallery that is on the DeviantArt. Not It's called Slada Comics. So link in the description down below so you can browse all the different artworks that I do. Also make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit the notification bell so your next video comes up. And I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day. Royal Phoenix signing off.